What's up guys, it's the random one and today I will be showing you how to grow star fruit from seed. Here I have a star fruit. They call it star fruit because it's shaped like a star. This one's a little bit overripe. Or it might, I think it's ripe. And um, first you want to cut the edges, these right here. And these have a neurotoxin by the way and if if you have kidney issues then they can do some damage okay so I will cut the edges off here I have cut off the edges of the star fruit and you don't want to cut them like stars unless you don't want the seeds or you want less seeds instead you want to eat these right here I'll just cut a star just to show you Here's how it looks when you cut it into a star. And you can eat the, these, they taste good. Tastes like pear mixed with apple. So if it's underripe, it has a more bitter taste. And I will eat the rest. Here, you can see I have eaten the star fruit. Sort of eat it like an apple. Um, you don't go to the core. You can eat the rest, but I would, if, if you want the seeds, you want to, like, cut into this. You can use, it's better to use your finger. And inside, you'll find a core, which contains a seed, well, seeds. Here I have found one seed. And when getting these, you should get them. It's better to get them overripe than underripe, because then the seeds have already matured. And here I have a star fruit seed. And you want to collect the rest. I really like star fruit. One of my favorite fruits. So you open it like this. Slowly cutting in. It's hard to open it with one hand. And you'll get a core that contains the seeds. And you get the seeds. Usually you should at least get seven seeds. If it's a developed star fruit, at least seven seeds. But I don't want to be too specific about how many seeds you're getting. Anyways, I'll take out the rest. As you can see here, I have opened the star fruit and I have gotten four seeds. I said seven, but sometimes you get less. Possibly it can be due to star fruit being underripe or picked too early. But here I have four seeds. Um, my first star fruit, I got 21 seeds, which is a lot. And it was under a little bit underripe, but the seeds still grew. And what you want to do with these seeds is clean this pulp off because this will get moldy and kill your star fruit. Well, it won't grow. And how you do that. As I will try to show you. Um, you grab a napkin or something else, and you sort of want, you don't want to put too much pressure, but you want to get the pulp off. And you can, if you keep doing that, then you can, you'll eventually get the pulp off. And you want to take this pulp off by like sort of scratching it off. But I cannot do that with one hand. Yeah. Let's see. Oh my gosh, my dog. You sort of scratch it off. I'm getting a little bit too close. Um, not. Don't scratch too hard, or else you'll cut into the seed, and that will be bad. And I'll do the rest. As you can see here, I have taken off the pulp. Um, and you don't always do this, but if you want to check if your seeds are viable, this doesn't work. Whoa. So far for me, it's never really worked, but you want to put seeds in water. And if they float, they say it's inviable, but still try to grow the ones that float because that happened to me. They all floated. I still grew. I still put the ones that floated and 
Guess what? The ones that float still germinate. Well, on, mostly for just star fruit. It's just sometimes they don't work. So I will take out the star fruit and I'll go show you the next step.